Hello team, welcome back to V Project UK. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Euro Fiber Pad from Buff and Shine and why this pad could be a game changer. So, let's start the video. If you've done machine polishing before, you will know that usually the best cutting is achieved using a microfiber cutting pad, something similar to this. And you would team this up with a really good compound, something like Heavy Cut Compound 400 from Menzerna, a compound that not only cuts really well, but finishes down really well as well. However, as good as this compound is, the nature of microfiber means that you'll always have some hazing left over, which needs to be polished out to get the finish that you're looking for. So what you would then do is go for a fine polishing pad, something similar to this from Rupes, which is the yellow fine polishing pad, and team this up with a really good polish like Perfect Finish from Sonax. That will usually, having a two-stage system, two-stage correction, will give you the finish that you're looking for most of the time. However, you might also opt to go for the third stage, which is the finishing stage, just to get that extra 5 or 10% finish that you might be looking for. In which case, you'll get something like a finishing pad, like this white ultra-fine pad from Rupes. Team this up with a really good finishing polish, something like Perfect Polish from Angel Wax for that final step. However, you've now invested quite a lot of time in a three-stage system to get the finish you want. Is there an alternative? Well, there might just be. This Eurofiber pad from Buff and Shine promises to do all three steps with just one pad. Basically, it's a blend of microfiber cutting fibers and microfiber polishing fibers. 50-50 blend, which promises to cut, polish, and finish in one step. Will it do so? Well, let's find out now. For this demonstration, essentially we're going to treat this as a one-step pad because it promises to do all three steps to cut, polish and finish in one go. We're going to team this up with a really good polish and that's going to be perfect finish from Sonax. This polish as a one-step polish is absolutely fantastic because it has a very high cutting aspect to it but it also has a very fine, or sorry, very high finishing aspect to it as well. So these two should be a marriage made in heaven and we'll give this a demonstration right now. So here is our trusty panel and today I'm going to use the Sealy Color Match LED Swirl Finder Light and as usual you can see the usual swirls and scratches in this panel that you would have on most vehicles and you've got some 
etching there as well and some deep scratches so this panel has been fully prepped and decontaminated so what I'm going to do now is mask off two areas and we'll go ahead and test the yellow Rupes polishing pad and the buff and shine Eurofiber pad using the Sonax Perfect Finish but I just wanted to show you a before shot so you can see what defects we have then as usual I'll mount the camera do the test and then once we're finished I'll bring the camera in and we'll see what the results are so let's get started
Right, so moment of truth. Let's have a look at the results. I'll just get rid of uh, this masking tape because we don't need that anymore. We'll see exactly uh, what the results we've got. Having just finished doing the test panels, the results are actually quite interesting. And I'll touch on that in a second. I'll just quickly remove all of that. Give it another quick wipe. And we'll see the results. So, I wasn't expecting miracles with the Sonax Perfect Finish because I know from using it before that it's not going to get rid of water etching or deep scratches, which I wasn't expecting anyway. But you can hopefully see just how much it's actually refined this part of the boot, this test panel. It's got rid of pretty much everything except a lot of the uh, deeper scratches and water etching, which you'd need to either wet sand or compound anyway. So I wasn't expecting it to get rid of that, but you can hopefully see just how much it's refined it and finished it down which is why this combination of the yellow Rupes fine polishing pad and the Sonex perfect finish is one of our go-to combinations and we can pretty much get 80% of the vehicles done using that combination regardless of whether the lacquer is soft, medium or hard. And when you compare that to the other side you can see straight away how much more hazing there is on this side. Now, I've used a Eurofiber pad on medium and hard lacquer, and I will say that on medium and hard lacquer, this combination of the Eurofiber pad and the Sonex Perfect Finish actually finishes down like this. It finishes down really well. However, on soft lacquer, you can see that the slightly more aggressive nature of the microfiber, even though it has a 50-50 blend of cutting and polishing fibers, has actually caused hazing on soft lacquer which this panel is and you can see the difference so on soft lacquer this is a really good test because it shows that we would not use this combination unless we wanted to finish this off with uh, the yellow rupees with a uh, polish that then turns into a two stage whereas if you had a soft lacquer you can probably get away with a one stage unless you wanted to get rid of your water etching and deeper scratches, which you would do separately by wet sanding or compounding. But based on this test, and our recommendations is that if you have soft lacquer, I'd probably stick to the yellow Rupes fine. However, if you have medium or hard lacquer, the Eurofiber will give you fantastic results. But on soft lacquer, it then means you have to do a two-stage correction. So that should be coming up quite clearly on the video. And what I'll do, I'll just use the uh, Rupes LL150 for a different light source, just so we can see the difference using a different light source. But the results should show very, very similar. So, hopefully that was useful. We hope you found that demonstration useful. Is this pad a game changer? It's very close to being so in our opinion. From our experience having used this pad a number of times now on various finishes, we find that it cuts about 80% as good as a full-on microfiber cutting pad. You will get nearly the same results using this pad, which is absolutely fantastic. We also find that it polishes just as good as a polishing pad, and it also finishes just as well as a finishing pad. Therefore, if you're going to do a one-step correction using something like the Sonax Perfect Finish and you want slightly more cutting than you will get from a normal yellow Rupes polishing pad, then this could be the pad to reach for and it's certainly one we'll be reaching for if we want a slightly better cut from the polish or the finish that we're looking for. On top of that, instead of having to go through a three-stage correction, you can basically have 80% of the results in terms of cutting using just one pad with one polish. So it makes your time consumption doing a correction much shorter as well. Pad comes in various sizes. You can get the six inch, the five inch, which is what this one is, three inch, two inch, and one inch. What you'll find with the pad itself is that it actually has a slightly lower grade or length of fiber. And the 50-50 blend is super soft, but because it's slightly shorter nap, it actually gives you a slightly better cutting action it's mounted on a really good foam interface, which again will 
bend and contour to some curves on your vehicle which means you get some good contact with this pad so it really is a fantastic pad and one you should definitely give a try we hope you found this video useful if you did make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe make sure you press the bell icon to get alerts for future videos and make sure you follow us on instagram thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one